Now we're going to design the mouse function. The mouse function will handle a mouse event in our Big Bang program and produce a new larger bunch of points. This bunch of points will have a new point in it along with all the previous points, and that new point will be at the location of whatever happened with the mouse. Let's recall the signature for mouse events. Mouse event takes the world, then two numbers, and then a mouse event string, and it produces a new world. The two numbers tell us the location that the mouse event happened at, and the mouse event string tells us what kind of mouse event happened. We'll ignore that mouse event string for the moment and just create a new point at the given location. In this Big Bang animation, our world will be a bunch of points. Now let's write some examples for mouse. Here we have two examples for mouse. If we start off with no points and add a point, we get one point with make sum. If we start off with one point, we add another point, and then we have two uses of make sum. Note that the world that came in as an input never changes. Now let's write our function. We're going to start with the template, and here the template is just going to be a template for using function composition. We're not going to deconstruct any of the input pieces of data. We have four pieces of data available to us, a bunch of points, two numbers, and a mouse event. We've already said we're going to ignore the mouse event, so I'll delete it. Now we need to create a new point at the given location. We do that with make point. Now we need to put our point together with the bunch of points w that we already have. Fortunately, we have a function that constructs a bunch of points out of a single point and a bunch of points. That's make sum, and we can just use it right here. That's all we need to do, and now we're done with the mouse function. Here's the final version. When we run this, all our tests will pass.